Hey everyone, welcome back to Gadget Spot. In our last video, we unboxed the brand new Raspberry Pi 5, assembled it with the official case, and installed the active cooler for optimal performance. If you missed that video, be sure to check it out first. Today, we're taking the next step and installing an operating system on our Raspberry Pi 5. Let's get started. To get our Raspberry Pi 5 up and running, we'll need to install an operating system. We'll be using Raspberry Pi OS, which is the official operating system provided by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Here's what you'll need. A microSD card, at least 8 GB recommended, a computer with an internet connection, and a microSD card reader. Now, let's open the memory card package we've got. We're using an Amazon Basics 32GB microSD card, which includes an SD card adapter. This adapter can be used to connect the microSD card to standard SD card slots, typically found on laptops and cameras. However, for greater convenience and compatibility with most PCs, we prefer using a USB microSD card reader. This type of reader easily fits into any computer with a USB port, making it simple to connect the microSD card and start the OS installation process. To download the Raspberry Pi Imager onto your laptop, start by opening your web browser and heading to the official Raspberry Pi website. Once there, navigate to the software section where you'll find the Raspberry Pi Imager available for various operating systems, including Windows, macOS, and Linux. Choose the appropriate version for your laptop and click the download button. After the download completes, open the installer file and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation process. This will involve agreeing to the software license agreement and selecting an installation location on your laptop. Once the installation is finished, you can launch the Raspberry Pi Imager, which will be ready to use for setting up your Raspberry Pi OS. Before proceeding, ensure that you have inserted the microSD card into the card reader and connected it to your computer. Then, open the Raspberry Pi Imager that we just installed. In the Raspberry Pi Imager, click on Choose OS and select Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit from the list. After that, click on Choose SD Card and select your microSD card from the options. Before clicking the right button, you might want to check out the advanced settings. These options are not immediately visible in the app. To access them, press Ctrl plus Shift plus X. There's no button or menu option for these settings, so you'll need to use this keyboard shortcut to open the Advanced Settings menu. In the Advanced Options menu, you can make several useful changes like setting a host name to identify your Pi on a network, enabling SSA on boot for remote access which is useful for headless projects, and setting up your Wi-Fi without editing a config file. You can also set your language and location in the locale settings. These changes can be made for a single session, such as writing an OS to a microSD card, or you can configure the Raspberry Pi imager to use these settings every time. For Raspberry Pi users, these advanced features are a welcome addition, allowing them to quickly and easily set these options and write the OS to a microSD card without having to manually tweak config files, which can be quite a task when working with multiple cards. Don't forget to save your settings before moving on. Once you've done that, click Next to start writing the OS to the microSD card. The Raspberry Pi Imager will now download the operating system and write it to the microSD card. This process may take a few minutes, so please be patient. You'll see a progress bar indicating the status of the download and writing process. Once the process is complete, you'll receive a confirmation message letting you know that the OS has been successfully written to the card. At this point, you can safely remove the microSD card from the card reader. With the OS successfully written to our microSD card, it's time to insert it into the Raspberry Pi 5. Locate the microSD card slot on the underside of the Raspberry Pi 5 and gently insert the card until it clicks into place. Next, connect your Raspberry Pi 5 to a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. You'll need a micro HDMI to HDMI cable or a Type-D male to type a female adapter to connect your standard HDMI monitor to the Raspberry Pi, which has a micro HDMI output. Additionally, you'll need a USB-A to Type-C cable to connect your Raspberry Pi to a power supply. We recommend using the Raspberry Pi 5 
5V 27 watt power supply for optimal performance. Ensure that all your connections, including the monitor, keyboard, pointing device, and power supply, are securely and properly connected to the Raspberry Pi 5. Once everything is connected, plug in the power supply. Your Raspberry Pi 5 will begin booting up, and you should see the Raspberry Pi OS boot screen on your monitor. After the boot process is complete, you'll be greeted by the Raspberry Pi OS desktop. Congratulations! You've successfully installed the operating system on your Raspberry Pi 5. On the Pi dashboard, you'll see that the Raspberry Pi 5 is already connected to your Wi-Fi, which we set up earlier in the advanced settings of Pi Imager. You can also verify that the other settings we adjusted at that time, such as your Pi's name, are correctly configured. We're not finished yet. Let's check if your Raspberry Pi is up to date. If you see an update link at the top left of the screen, it means there's a new update available. Simply click on it and follow the instructions to update your Raspberry Pi to the latest build. Congratulations! You've successfully set up your Raspberry Pi 5 with the latest OS and ensured all settings are configured. Now you're ready to explore and enjoy all the possibilities this powerful device has to offer. Be sure to check out our other videos on various Raspberry Pi projects. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated with our latest content. You've been a great audience. Thanks for watching.